Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and this is Free PBX 101 version 15 part two, where we're gonna be installing Free PBX onto a bare metal server. If you are looking to install Free PBX into a hosted environment, such as DigitalOcean or Vulture, that's actually gonna be our next video. So we're gonna do this video on how to install on a bare metal server. The next video is going to be how to install in a hosted environment. Free PBX can be installed on essentially any PC. So if you're just looking to learn the platform, find an old desktop PC, as long as you can install Linux on that PC, you should be able to install Free PBX. However, if you're going to be installing Free PBX in a production environment, I would certainly recommend something a little bit more robust. In this video, we're going to be installing FreePBX onto this Crosstalk 710 server appliance. This server can handle up to 100 phones or 30 concurrent calls. It has no moving parts. Basically, the whole thing is a nice heat sink. And uh, yeah, it's going to be super reliable for the lifetime of the device. All of the Crosstalk servers standard come with two-year factory warranties and FreePBX pre-installed. But we're going to go ahead and install FreePBX onto this anyways. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is download the FreePBX ISO. To do that, you wanna go to freepbx.org and then click download up here in the menu bar. And then where it says download FreePBX 15, I'm actually gonna click this view all versions right here. And then down here we have our 64-bit downloads and the latest version is Sangoma 7 PBX 64-bit 2014-1. Uh, that was released in April 2021. So you just want to click on this button here to download the full ISO, but be aware that the Sangoma servers can tend to be a little bit sluggish, so that download of the full ISO may take actually a couple hours. Uh, if you're planning on installing FreePBX, get the ISO download started like right now, <laughs> right, so that you have it when you're ready for it. The next thing we want to do is to get that ISO installed onto a USB thumb drive. This one I have here is a 32 gig thumb drive from Kingston, uh, but mostly any thumb drive will do. I think it has to be at least eight gigs or so for the free PBX install, but mostly you're going to have larger ones like 32 gigs or 64 gigs. So just find a flash drive that will work. And I'm going to use a program called Belena Etcher to write the ISO file to this thumb drive. So we want to choose flash from a file, and then we're going to pick our Sangoma ISO that we downloaded. And then you're going to want to select your target. So when you click select target, be very, very, very careful that you are selecting the correct thumb drive, right? So in my case, we can see I have the Kingston Data Traveler 3.0 USB device, and it is 31 gigs. But if I accidentally pick this Western Digital Elements 12 terabyte drive, I could potentially erase my external USB backup drive, right? So we definitely, definitely do want to do not want to do that. Double and triple check that you are using the correct USB flash drive when you do this. This is your only warning, okay? So, all right, so we're going to select that device and say select. And then the next thing we need to do is just click flash, and that's going to write that ISO image to the USB thumb drive. The next thing we need to do is get our server ready for installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. I have a monitor that I'm plugging into the back, as well as a network cable that's going into LAN one. And then on the front, I'm gonna plug in a keyboard and mouse. And I'm using the USB two slots for the keyboard and mouse. I'm gonna use the USB three slot for the USB thumb drive. And finally, we're gonna plug in power. In my case, I'm going to enter the BIOS first just to make sure that we see the thumb drive. And I want to make sure that that thumb drive is set up as boot option number one, which it already is. So we should be good to go to start the installation. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer so you guys can actually have a better view of this screen. Okay, so once you've booted to the USB thumb drive, essentially you're going to get to this screen and you can see that the server is already installing. The only thing that we need to do is set our root password. So I'm going to take my mouse, I'm going to click on root password, and we're going to set a nice strong root password. And then confirm it, and we just want to click done right up here in the top corner. And that's all there is to it. Once you've set your root password, the system is going to take over and it's going to fully install FreePBX. If you have the network cable plugged in, it is also going to fully update FreePBX as part of the installation process. 
So now just sit back and wait. Typically this takes about 30 to 40 minutes to do a complete installation and update. Once the installation of free PBX has been completed, you will see a button in the bottom right hand corner that says reboot. So go ahead and click that button. And now while the server is rebooting, go ahead and take the USB stick out of your computer and we should boot up into free PBX. All right, there we go. Now we can see it says free PBX login in the upper left hand corner. So we're gonna log in as root, R-O-O-T, and the root password that you set during the installation process. Now that we're logged in, we can see that the IP address of the server is 192.168.200.232. By default, the system uses DHCP to get its IP address. We can change that to a static IP address in a little bit, but for now, this will get us into the initial setup wizard. The next thing that you wanna do is take the IP address of your server and pop it into a browser. I'm using Chrome here, and as you can see, I put in 192.168.200.232, and I was re uh, redirected to the initial setup wizard. So that's all there is to it. We're gonna jump into the initial setup wizard in video four. So if you're not interested in learning how to set up a hosted PBX, you can skip video three, the next video, and go straight into video four, where we're gonna pick it up right here from this initial setup wizard and go through the initial configuration of free PBX. All right, we will see you guys in the next video.